special one to the elect. All praises, honor, and glory to our power, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rukai Kodash. Yahweh is our heavenly Father's name. The power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. His only begotten Son, our King, our Redeemer. The most famous man ever walk this planet among us. The King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the conquering lion from the tribe of Judah, the root and offspring of King David, the one whom we haven't seen but yet loved, eh? Then that is required faith. And we thank him that he indeed gave us faith, eh? Gave us hope. Because we know according to the book of Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8, and eh, faith is a gift. That's why we don't boast in that. We boast in the name of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. Those are the two names that we continue to raise up, we continue to lift up. And we want the entire world to know who our power is, not the, the watered-down version that they gave us in the plantation Christianity family. It's not even worth it mentioning those names. Now that we have the name of our Lord, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, it says the name indeed, it is a strong tower. Listen to that name, Yahweh. Eh? And it's only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. Those are the two names that we will continue to lift up because family, we have the true word of prophecy. Eh? When we read the headline news and then we, we come across articles like this, you went once again splitting the world into two. They don't know that it's the Lord that is doing it. And then here, British Prime Minister warns Putin that support for Ukraine is not going away. Oh yes, we know it's all leading to the big day. Eh? The, 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 the big day. What is the big day you ask? The Third World War. That's what we're waiting for. U.S. to allow allied, allied transfers of F-16s. Eh? Those are the jets eh? to Ukraine. And Russia already said that's a red flag. So family, everything is coming together. We thank the Lord, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, for putting this beautiful song in our mouth. To continue to sing this song. Hmm? It says in the book of, uh, let's bring this out quickly. The book of uh, Psalm, Psalm uh, 43, I believe. Let's see if I can find it. Psalm 43, is this here? Is this, uh, oh, Psalm 40, verse 5. It says here, family, so you can see it. It says Psalm chapter 40, verse 5. It says many. No, that's not it. Is this Psalm 40, 43? Um... Oh, sorry, for yeah, Psalm 40, verse 3. Psalm 40, verse 3, it says here, And he, who is he? Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, eh? have put a new song. This is the new song, family, because plantation Christianity don't have this song. It says this, he has put a new song in my mouth, even praise unto our power. Eh? Yahweh. He said, many shall see it and fear and shall trust in the Lord. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai family. The elect are waking up because what? They've heard the song. And what are they doing? Family, they are dancing. They can't stop dancing because they know that their salvation draweth nigh. As we see these nations go down, family, the Lord is slowly breaking them down. Hmm? Because the only thing left is war now. Financially, they went after Russia and that didn't work. And now, family, they are going. For, that's the only thing left. When the economy is crashing, what do you do? You go to war. And that's how the Lord, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, has set it up. Again, because he tells us what? He ruleth in the kingdom of men. Let's bring that out, family. Let's bring that out. Mm? <clears throat> Let's bring that out. Because it's all about the Lord, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. The only power that matters, the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Wah, Yahweh Shai. Family, let's go to the book of Daniel, chapter 4. Hmm? Daniel 4. Daniel 4, verse 17. Straight to the point. Eh? Straight to the point. Hmm? It says, This matter, eh? This it says, This matter, eh? Is by the decree of the watches, eh? The watches. And the demand, let's translate this to, to the original version. It says here, and the demand by the word of the holy ones, eh? to the intent that the living, we are the living, 
may know that the most high, who is the most high? Yahweh, ruleth in the kingdom of men and giveth it to whomsoever he will and setteth up over it the basest of men. He put this rulership, this Jesus heaven, he put the worst of the worst to rule over us, the basest of men. They are the one ruling right now. They are the one turning the world upside down. They are the one telling you that what? It's okay for 12 years, a six-year-old to change their sex. It's okay to marry a cow. It's okay to worship a snake. Yes, these are the Lord. These are the ones the Lord pull to rule over. It says the basest of men. The basis of men, family, I want to see if we can look up that word. Look it up. The basis of men, it says here, mm, family, these are not my translation. Mm, this is from Google. It says here, a person of action or feeling without a moral principle. That's right. Esau have no moral compass. This, these are the people that the Lord put to rule over us. That's why the world is in the state that it's in. Oh, don't let the suit and the tie and their fancy suit fool you, family. They are all evil. Eh? No moral compass. That's right. These are the people that the Lord have put to rule this planet. You see, the Lord has a great sense of humor. Eh? But they put their suits on, they establish their institution, their universities, their Ivy League, and then they charge you millions and millions of dollars to go into, the, to go into their institution to learn what? You learn nothing. They gave you a certificate and you think you have arrived. No, family. The Lord said he put the basis of me. He's the one ruling in the kingdom of men. And he's about to turn this place upside down. And you're going to see the contrast. When Yahweh Shai, along with his 144,000 governors, mentioned in the book of Revelation 7 and Revelation 14, eh? and the large multitude, family, when we are in charge, Lord willing, Lord willing, we are among the number. You're going to see the difference. But right now, he wants you to know this is what happens when the wicked are in authority. Yes, the world, the Lord is ruling. The Lord is about to remove them. Mm -hmm. Now, this guy here, the Secretary General of who? United Nations, Antonio Guterres, called for a detent. A detent. Family, let's look up that word, a detent. It's nice to look up the words, family. We are all learning. It said, "Detent is what the relaxation of strained relations, mm, strained relations, eh? So they want peace. Basically, that's what he's saying. Eh? This back and forth with Russia and all these allies and the West, it says no, but they don't know that it's the Lord that is orchestrating it because he says in the book of Let's go to the book of Ecclesiastes quickly, Ecclesiastes." Mm -hmm. Yes. You see, actually, let's go back to verse 1 first. Let's go to verse 1 and we'll, we'll jump to verse 8. It says here, it says, to everything there is a season. And the time to every purpose under the sun, under the heaven. Sorry, let's read that again. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. Let's go to verse 8 now. It says here, verse 8 now tells us what? A time to love and a time to hate. So what time are we in right now? Just based on what we are seeing on the news, it's a time to hate. That's why they hate all these nations are right right now. The East and the West family, they hate each other. Now he's worried because he knows that this thing is leading to what? It's going to lead to Third World War. But he doesn't know that it's already ordained in the spirit. It's just about to be manifest. That's right. That's why we are here just to let them know. That's why we were put here to let them know what is coming. The third world war, they have nothing to do with it. This is the Lord's movie. He says here, and the time to hate and the time of war. So what time are we in, beloved? The, the hopefully like we are time of war and a time of peace. Let's read the entirety. It says, a time to love and a time to hate. 
A time of war and a time of peace. And I know this is not a time of peace. Because there will, be, there will never be peace on this planet here until Shiloh comes. Who is Shiloh? Shiloh means peace. Eh? Who is Shiloh? You ask? Yes, it's Yahweh Shai. The prince of Salem. Family the P. Family the king of Salem. He's also known as Shiloh, the prince of peace. That's the only time we are going to find peace on this earth. Hey? So let's look up that word again, detent. It said detent is the relaxation of strained relations, especially political ones, through verbal communication. The diplomacy term originated from around 1912 when France and Germany tried unsuccessfully to reduce tensions. The term is often used to refer to a period of general easing of geopolitical tensions between the Soviet Union and United States during the Cold War. The tent began in 1969 as a core element of the foreign policy of United States President Richard Nixon. Family, we both learned something today. Hey. So now, it's no coincidence that Russia is still in the midst of this. Because this happened during the Nixon administration between United States and Soviet Union. And now we are back here again. What did the Lord say about there's nothing new under the sun. Let's go. It is all about our power. Verse uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 1. Let's pick it up from verse 4. No, it says here. That was straight to the point. It says here. The thing that have been. You hear that family? These are not my words. These are the Lord's words. So it's not coincidence that Russia is in the midst of this again. Now they are very, very worried because fam, they have a lot riding on this. They have a lot riding on this. They are new world order. They are building 15-minute cities. They want to put Esau's magic stick inside you. They have a lot riding, a lot riding on this thing here. So that's why they don't need a war. Yes. They want some type of uh, chaos so they can introduce their plan. But things are not going the way they wish, the, 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 the way they want it to go. No. Because they forgot that the ultimate power is Yahweh. He's the one controlling this. It says here, the thing that have been, it is that which shall be. You hear that family? And that which is done. Is that which shall be done. And there's no new thing under the sun. Eh? In our situation, we call it reincarnation. We have been here many, many times over. We come in a different flesh. The spirit is forever. But the new body that the Lord is about to give us, that's it. We're going to dwell in that vessel forever. The Lord is reminding you here, there's nothing new under the sun. So yes, Russia is in the midst of this again because Russia has been handpicked by our power, Yahweh. And he's going to align himself with other nations, the book of Ezekiel 38, to take down Babylon and its system, including the UN, including the Rome, including the uh, the Council of Rome, everything associated to this beast system, Esau system, it is Russia that's going to take it down. And then the Lord will come and finish the job. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. That is why, family, when we come across these articles, we are extremely excited because that's prophecy. That's what the Lord told us to watch out for. Yes, to prophesy. He says, the spirit of our power. Hey, this is what? Family, let's do it justice. Let's do it justice. Let's go to the book of Revelation. I'll bring the article. Family, you know, it's all about glorifying the Lord because what he has done for us, oh, family, we have won the lottery. He rigged this game for us to win. Remember, victory is already written in, 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 in the heavens. We already gotten the victory. Things just have to manifest. 
and the fact that we have the blueprint as to everything that is happening oh family we are doing great actually here let's go to the book of revelation chapter 19 verse 10 straight to the point it says here and i fell at his feet to worship him this is john after uh the angel whom Yahweh I sent to reveal to John what's going to be happening in the last days. When he revealed the prophecy to John, John fell to worship him. And hear what the angel said. The angel said, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren. What does that mean? The angels are our servants to who Yahweh Yahweh Shai. Not only that, they are our brothers. You hear that? That's why family, we have to be very mindful. The angels are around us, but we cannot see them. That's right. And they are the one taking the report back and forth eh, to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. The angels are our brother. That's why Michael also remembered the book of uh, Daniel chapter 12 verse 1. Michael is going to step in because well, Michael is our big brother. The archangel, he is coming to tear this place apart to redeem his elect. But here, say that do it not. I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of who? Yahweh Shai. It says, worship our power for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is what? The spirit of prophecy. It didn't say prosperity gospel. Mm. It didn't say we should buy homes and no, no, no. Because the Lord told us clearly when he gave us, uh, what is the instruction? He says, go to who? The lost sheep of Israel. Preach. Tell them, roughly pass and remind them that what? The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Eh? Isn't that what he said? He says, tell them the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Because he knows that this is not our home. He didn't tell them, go preach and tell them that they should buy homes. And yet, no, 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 no. He said, just tell them that the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Eh? The lost sheep of Israel. That's what the Lord said. Hmm? Hmm? Let's go. It says, go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And what did he say we should do when we go? He says, and as ye go preach. Saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Family, the kingdom of heaven is fast approaching because these nations are falling apart and Russia is preparing to go to war with the West. Hey, eh? this is one of the last prophecies that has to be fulfilled the third world war. This is how close we are. But anyhow, let's get into the article. Only three articles this one here, and uh, no, no. this one here. And British Prime Minister wants Putin that support for Ukraine is not going away. So, family, it is escalating. And that's what we want. They're about to give Ukraine F-16. We know that's not going to be Ukraine army that's going to be flying. It's going to be NATO army. So, it's going to be Russia against the entire NATO. And mem NATO members, are, well, I think there are 30, no, 31 members. 31 countries going against Russia. So, what do you think that's, what do you think is going to happen, family? Yes, other nations are going to form a line. They're going to join Russia. And yes, that's going to be third world war. And we say honor, glory to our power. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem. family. We have won the lottery. And we are extremely happy because we are about to go home. We are about to go home. We are about to meet our king. Hey? We are about to meet our king. It's about to wipe away all tears. All tears, family. No more pain. No more sadness. We will never be separated from our King Yahweh Shai. That's what it's all about. To wake up in the kingdom. To see the glory of our King. And we are the only people that he cares about. Yes, he's racist. Yes. Simply means he only cares about his people. That's it. He loves his race. Israel. That's it. 
It's not like you hate other races. No, no. He's racist. He loves his race. That's it, family. That's what he means. The Lord chose us to be above all nations, beloved. He chose us to be above all nations. What does that tell you? That bring it. Because, family, we have receipt. Eh? We just don't speak. We allow the Lord to speak. This is what he says in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. Mm -hmm. Know that you are no ordinary person. The Lord loves you above all nations. Eh? Let's read this, family. Listen to this. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord, Yahweh, thy power. The Lord, Yahweh, thy power, have chosen thee. To be a special people unto himself. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Not just above. Just being well, above. Meaning ruling over them. No, no, no. Above it, everything. Looks. Riches. Health. Stature. Everything, family. We are gonna, we're not going to lack anything. Everything, measure, everything that we have to measure up to... This nation's family, we're going to be above them. That's what is coming. That's what the Lord did for us. At one point, we didn't know this. We didn't know this. We were busy calling ourselves gentle, calling ourselves black. Black, meaning we are void of light. Black, because that's what the, these devils, eh, you're looking at their faces. These are the names that they gave us. Black, native, African-American. Eh? Nigerian, Ghanaian, Barbados, Jamaican, eh? Negroes. These are all the names the oppressor placed on us. And he gave himself white. You know what white means? Pure, benevolent, you know, gracious. Eh? Let's look it up. Let's look it up. Let's go to etymology online. Let me see. Do I have etymology online? I think I do. Let's go. Family, family, we just, I will bring up. Let me see here. No. I think I have etymology on my, yeah, let's go. Let's look up the word quickly. Let's look up the word white. This thing jump in. Please, please bear with me. I don't know why this thing is jumping on me. Time together. Let's see. It says here. Let's listen. It's association. Sorry, association with royalist causes as late eighteenth century slang sense of honorable, fair. Eh? Gracious, friendly, favorable, and eh? the racial sense of those races, chiefly European or European extraction, characterized by light complexions recorded from uh, 16th century, 1600s, uh, meaning characteristics of pertaining to white people is from 1852. Um, that's another, I came across. Brightly illuminated. Mm -hmm. Literal noble. Uh, there was a better, there's a translation I came across a while back. I guess they removed it. Oh yeah, benevolent. So, so family, let's get out of it. Let's uh, 
yeah they give themselves the name white yeah and they give you black meaning who are void of light but now we know who we are you see that's what the book says why we will not listen to them anymore hey eh? the lord said the moment he opened our eyes this is what he said in the book of isaiah it's all about the lord i'll bring the article family bear with me the book of isaiah chapter 10 verse 20 i believe 10 20 let's go to it quickly it says here the moment the lord opened our eyes boom family it says what and it shall come to pass in that day hmm? the day that the lord opened our eyes the day that the lord gave us this truth the day that the lord poured his spirit upon us to work us up because we were what we were slumbering family we were dead that's right we had no clue who we were Getting up every Sunday, putting on our Sunday clothes, going to church. Yes. Paying our ties, building fund, pastor appreciation day, sewing ties, family. Yes. The day the Lord took us out of that place and opened our eyes to this beautiful gospel, the gospel of Yahweh Shai. This is what it says, and it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel and eh, the elect, because the Lord didn't wake up everybody. You see, there are people still buried in the plantation Christianity, eh? Calling in the what? The white idol, eh? Their sweet baby Jesus. No, that's that's right. The Lord gave them to that farm. That's their lot. That's their lot. He said that remnant of Israel and such as are escape of the house of Jacob mm -hmm. shall no more again stay upon him that smote them. Who smote us? Esau, Edom. Who gave you all those who are corporate names? Esau, Edom. Who is who? Family, our food, our medicine, our education system. Who control it? Esau, Edom. That's why he's the one that smote us. And then don't don't even the physicals which was what the plantation. Twenty hour days. Who did it? Esau, Edom. But now he doesn't want you to go back and learn his true history, how he established himself. No. Let bygone be bygone. You've lost your mind. No. Yahweh is the one you're going to be facing. And you, but you better you wait until he gives us that power. And that power is coming. It says here, No more again stay upon him that smote them, but shall what? Stay upon the Lord, Yahweh, the Holy One of Israel in truth. Because the Lord has opened our eyes. He has shown us everything about you. Hey. Eh? And now, whatever you tell us, we just turn a blind. We don't even pay attention to you anymore. You are insignificant. You are insignificant. It says here, let's read this article, family. It said the U.S. Secretary General Antonio Guterres has called on the G7 nations to refrain from dividing. I think the G7 is one of the top seven economies in the world. Okay, Nations to refrain from dividing the world into Cold War style blocks aligned with either the U.S. or China. Yes, that's what is happening. Because in order for this war to take off, there has to be what? There has to be a division. Because if you are united, guess what? You're speaking one voice. The Lord is the one causing this commotion, dividing the nation. You have to pick sides. We are going to war. This is the Lord's movie. There's nothing anybody can do about it. You can't stop it. Because he already reminded us what? The word that goes out of his mouth will not return to him void. The book pursuing to the book of Isaiah 55. It will accomplish everything that his heart desires. That is the power that we serve. It says here, The Western leaders meanwhile made Russia and China the focus of a joint statement on nuclear weapons. Speaking to Japan's Kyoto News as the leaders of Canada, France, Germany, Italy, Japan, the UK and the US met in Hiroshima on Saturday. Guterres called for active dialogue and cooperation between the G7 nations and China on the matters of climate change and development. I believe it is very important to avoid the division of the world into two. And it's very important to create bridges for serious negotiation. He said, no, this is not the family. We read it already in Ecclesiastes. This is not the time of peace. And this is the time of war. Okay, this is the time of war. We want our rulership. They've been on power. They've been in power for a long time. And this is a time for the Israelite. We want our kingdom. Lord willing. Lord willing. This thing will pop off soon. 
It says here, I believe it is very important to avoid the division of the world into two. Hmm? And it's very important to create bridges for serious negotiation, he said. Guterres has repeatedly warned of a brewing cold war between Western nations and China in recent years, calling the divergent economy, sorry, economic, political, and military interests of both sides a great fracture in 2019. Relations, relations between Beijing and Washington in particular have taken a nosedive over the last year, with China cutting cooperation with the U.S. on climate issues in response to a, a, a visit by then House Speaker Nancy Pelosi to Taiwan in August, and U.S. President Joe Biden threatening military action should Beijing move to retake control of the island. While Guterres spoke out against the division of the world, a joint statement by the G7 leaders on Friday reinforced the divi that division. Focusing on nuclear weapons, the statement accused Russia of irresponsible nuclear rhetoric and undermining of arms control regimes while describing China's modernization of its nuclear arsenal as a concern to global and regional security. Eh? Now the bully, eh? the bully, America. The cancer of the world now is calling out Russia and China. Look at what they've done all over the world. Eh? America and its vassal state, Europe, NATO. And the recent one being what? Libya, Afghanistan, Syria, Iraq, and all the places that they've destroyed. They are not saying they are not they are not saying anything about it. Eh? But that goes to show you eh? the hypocrisy of these devils. But anyhow, anyhow, they're all the same. They're all swimming in the same uh, filth. But that's why the Lord is bringing an end to this kingdom. So family, rejoice. I'll put this article in the description box. This is not time. No, There ain't going to be no peace. There ain't going to be no negotiation. This is leading straight to third world war. This is how close we are. Family, we have the sure word of prophecy. The sure word of prophecy. You're not going to find this in any of the nations and their gods and their in their books. This is in the Bible. This is these are the true word of our power. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. He told you. He's the one ruling in the kingdom of men. That's right. We have receipt. Let's go. This is uh, Shunak. Mm -hmm. British Prime Minister warns Putin that support for Ukraine is not going away. Yes, family, Britain is going to be nuked. It's just a matter of time. Oh, yeah, it's just a matter of time. It's just a matter of time. British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak has warned Russian President Vladimir Putin that Russia will not outlast the West in Ukraine. Hmm? My message to Putin is straightforward, Sunak declared. Support for Zelensky admin is not going away. Mm -hmm. Speaking to Sky News during the G7 summit in Hiroshima, Japan, United Kingdom Prime Minister Rishi Shunak insisted that the West remain steadfast in supporting Ukraine, warning Vladimir Putin that such resistance to his invasion is not going away. This is what we want. Family, let's play a bit of this thing for two seconds. <coughs> Excuse me. No, family, I will just leave it. I don't want to get a strike. I will just leave this in the description box. Let's get the next one. Mm -hmm. United States to allow Allied transfers of F-16s to Ukraine media. The American-made warplanes have long been on Kiev wish list. The U.S. government will not block Allied countries from sending F-16 fighter jets to Ukraine. Multiple news outlets report on Friday citing American officials, sources cited by the Washington Post, CNN and NBC and other outlets said the White House is prepared to allow F-16 shipments after, after months of Ukrainian requests for the aircraft which is used by more than two dozen nations. A senior White House official told NBC that Washington had already informed its partners about the decision. Yes, this is what we want. This is what we know. But here, listen to this, beloved. It says here, Moscow has warned against supplying Kiev with weapons, arguing that it will only prolong the fighting and do little to deter its military objective. The Kremlin has also said that military support for Ukraine, which includes the training of troops and sharing of intelligence, make Western countries de facto direct parties in the conflict. That is why we lift up the name of our power, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, 
Bahashem Rekwa Kodash. Let me see if we can close up with Jeremiah 51, I believe. Let me see if I can find it. Mm. Let's pick it up from here. This is referring to America, Babylon the Great. Uh, modern day Bosra, modern day Egypt, modern day Sodom and Gomorrah, modern day Assyria. These are all the, you know, the spiritual name for uh, for what is it called? America. That's right. This America is known as Babylon. The great said, behold, I am against the old oh, destroying mountain. And eh? says the Lord, destroying mountain. You have destroyed nations upon nations. Eh? Now the end is here. Family, are you excited? Are you excited that you're about to see the end of this kingdom? This is how close we are. This is how close we are. The end of your world. That's what it's in the book of Ezra, Second Ezra. You're going to see the end of your world. Hmm? Behold, I am against the old oh, destroying mountain, says the Lord Yahweh, which destroys all the earth. Is it a place that America and NATO and its allies have not destroyed? The recent one in Afghanistan family, they ran out, out of Afghanistan. And they wanted to take on Russia. You couldn't take down America, uh, Afghanistan. You want to take on Russia. Family, <laughs> that's why America, the Lord has set it up perfectly. It is going to be Russia that's going to take down Babylon the Great. All praises, honor, and glory to our power, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah Bashem, Luka Kudash. He says here, and I will stretch out my hand upon thee and roll thee down from the rocks and will make thee a bent mountain. You hear that? Because we know America is going to be what? The lake of fire. And eh? it says here, and they shall not take of thee a stone for a corner, nor a, st a stone for foundation, but thou shalt be desolate forever says the Lord, because the Lord said America is going to be like Sodom and Gomorrah, right? It's going to be a desert and nobody's going to live on the land. It's just going to be inhabited by what? Animals. Okay? Wild creatures. That's what it says in the book of Isaiah, uh, I believe Isaiah 34. Yes, and uh, many scriptures throughout the book. That's what's going to happen to your beloved. That's right. That wicked city. Babylon the Great. America. Okay? That's what the Lord is about to do to the land. And they shall not take a take take off thee a stone for a corner. Nobody's going to be building houses, family, nor a stone for foundation, but thou shalt be desolate forever. And eh? <clears throat> it says, Set ye up a standard in the land, blow the trumpet among the nations, prepare the nations against her. So all these nations, and eh? they all waiting to get a piece of America. Yes, all the all from the Arab, from the uh, the continent of Africa, they all waiting to get a piece of America and the West. And that time is fast approaching, eh? and this is how the Lord is going to take it down. He's going to gather all these nations, and they're going to take down Babylon. The Greece. So set ye up a standard in the land, blow the trumpet among the nations, prepare the nations against her. Call together against her the kingdoms of Ararat, eh? the Middle East family, Mini and Ashkenaz. Appoint a captain against her. Cause the horses to come up as the rough caterpillars. <clears throat> Prepare against her the nations with the kings of the Medes. That is Russia. The kings of the Medes. Gog and Magog, that's Russia. They know. The elite of this society, they know the Bible. But the average person have no clue what is coming. The elite know that this is their, the end of their kingdom is coming. But they want to take many people down as possible. That's why they're going to try to what? To see whether they, they to, to push their new world order. To put their mark on a lot. They're going to try to put their mark on a lot of people. And if you take that mark, the Lord is going to turn you into a barbecue. He says here, the captains thereof and all the rulers thereof and all the land of his dominion. Let's read that again. 
prepare against her. Who? Babylon. The nations. Eh? Now you have Russia. You have China. You have Iran. Turkey is eventually going to leave NATO and join Russia. Because it's written. Prophecy has to be fulfilled. The whole region. Eh? Afghanistan. Turkestan. Uh, all those stands, uh, countries up there. Along with countries from the Middle East. Syria. Libya. And they all want a peace. Iraq, Iraq. They all want a peace of who? They want a peace of America and the West. And that time is fast approaching. The captains thereof and all the rulers thereof, or thereof and all the land of his dominion. And it says, and the land shall tremble and sorrow for every purpose of the Lord. You hear what the Lord says? He says what? He will do all his pleasure. Let's bring that out and then we'll continue the family see the lord got let's go to the book of isaiah 55 because i quoted it earlier i just want to see if i can find isaiah 55 8 is it 58 8? oh isaiah it says here you see here so shall my word that go forth out of straight to the point isaiah 55 verse 11 it says here so shall my word be that go forth out of my mouth it shall not return unto me void you hear that so if the lord says he's going to turn america into the lake of fire Guess what's going to happen? It is going to be the lake of fire. Everything that the Lord said is going to happen, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai says it's going to happen, is going to happen. That's why it says better to fear the Lord. Repent. Family, we are living in the flesh. We're going to go off every now and then. But we should not continually commit, uh, was to continue to repeat the sin upon sin upon sin. The time is short for that. The time is short for that. Family, <coughs> we want to see the king. Eh? <clears throat> because the kingdom, family, is going to be party. Oh, yes. Yahawashai's kingdom. Remember, he says he's, he was a wine bibber. And he promised that he's going, to have a, he's going to have wine with us. And yes, we are looking forward to that party. You better believe it. It says here, so shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void. But it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. What does that? What does that mean? Everything the Lord said is going to happen. It's going to happen. So here, Jeremiah fifty one twenty nine. Here again, it says here, and the land shall tremble and sorrow for every purpose of the Lord. What is that? His pleasure. Every purpose of the Lord what shall be performed against Babylon. Hmm. To make the land of Babylon a desolation without what? An inhabitant. Yes. Look at America right now. You have your Hollywood. You have all these beautiful mansions. You have all your institutions. Your Ivy League universities. You have the White House. You have the, uh, what is it called? Uh, 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 no parliament. Uh, what is it called? Uh, Oh, man, I can't remember now. Anyhow, you have all this fancy building, the state house. You have you have all this institution in one hour. In one hour, family. <laughs> That's the power that we serve. He says one hour. He says perform against Bab to make the land of Babylon a desolation without an inhabitant. The mighty men of Babylon have forborne to fight. Yes, family. Their recruitment numbers are down. Because why? The woke system, yes. They are recruiting uh, trans women to what? To promote the army. Eh? Family, the army is weak. People don't want to fight anymore. They don't want to. When they heard they were going to go against Russia, family, you see on TikTok, on some of this social media, this so uh, this well, sorry, this army officers. For some of them are crying. Some of some of them don't want to go go and fight. You see what the Lord is saying here. He said the mighty men of Babylon have forborne to fight. They have remained in their holes. Their mighty have their might have failed. They became as women. They have burned. Her dwelling places, her bars are broken. Yes, that's the time that the Lord is coming. This, this is what the Lord is about to do. Your soldiers, all the so-called strong men family. Yes, when this nation come against her. Yes, 
his own army's family, they're going to leave their weapon behind. They said, no, 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 we're not going to fight. This is it. We're not doing this. We're not going to lose our life. This is what is coming. This is what is coming. The Lord already seen. This already happened in the spirit world. It's just about to manifest. Family, we all got, we got a victory. He said, one post shall run to meet another and one messenger to meet another to show the king of Babylon that his city is taken at one end. Yes. They're going to be giving a report to their army officers. Oh, that place is gone. That place is gone. Oh, that place is gone. This word is coming to Babylon. Let me see if I can find this thing here. There's a precept that I quoted. Uh, let me see. Uh, it's the apocrypha. Uh, the, end of, the end of your world. The end of your world. I think a second Ezra. Let's finish with that. Uh, I think a second oh second Ezra six five. Let's bring it and let's finish with that. Second Ezra's. Was my apocrypha. Please bear with me. It's not coming up. Twenty-five. Let's pick it up from here. This is the end. It says, at that time shall friends. Second Ezra chapter six verse twenty-four. It says, at that time shall friends fight one against another like enemies, and the earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein. The springs of the fountain shall stand still, and in three hours they shall not run. This is the word. You're not going to hear the word. The word eventually is going to be taken out, out of the internet. Eh? That's, what, that's, the, that's the spring. That's the word of the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. That's why when you have this, hold it dear to your heart. That's why knowledge and wisdom is going to be the stability of the time. When the time comes when the majority of the world have no clue what is happening, you know what is happening. You know that through the, whatever we are facing, whatever we are about to go through, from there we're going into the kingdom. Eh? But you have people building bunkers, buying precious metals, and then they're hoping that after the third world war, they're going to come back and build. No, we know that right after the tribulation of those days, we are going into the kingdom of heaven. So you don't need to stock up on no precious metals and buy land and all and then build a bunker. No, our faith is in the Lord. It says here, fear those. It says here, at that time shall friends fight one against another like enemies and the earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein. The springs of the fountain shall stand still and in three hours they shall not run. But then what? Whosoever remaineth from all these that I have told thee shall escape the elect and see my salvation and the end of your world. That's what we want to see. The end of, <coughs> of this world, Esau's world. Excuse me. Let's read that again. Whosoever remaineth from all this, which is going to be what? The tribulation, right? 
the elect, the Lord is with us. He's going to carry us through. He's going to be our guide, like he says in the book of 2 Ezra, chapter 16, verse 75. He says he's going to be our guide in those days. He says here, whosoever remaineth from all these, that I have told thee, shall escape and see my salvation. And you're not just going to see the salvation and the end of your world. This world, eh? This world is passing away and Yahweh Shai's kingdom is coming right after this one goes down. But it has to happen after the Third World War. That's what we're looking forward to. So there's been a, an update. You see, fam, it's all prophecy. These things should excite you. Eh? It should excite you because they know what is coming. This is coming from the UN Secretary General. There's no ordinary person from the UN Secretary General. He knows. He knows the Third World War is coming. But they want to come around and uh, around the table and prevent it. No, it's going, it's going full black. It is coming. This is the lost movie. And the fact that the Prime Minister of Britain, Sunak, is also encouraging nations to send uh they are sending their F-16s to uh, uh to Ukraine. Oh yeah, things are escalating. I just love it. Look at look at Putin's face, eh? It's just chilling, man. It's just chilling. I said, just bring it, bring it. Because yeah, he knows, they all know, they know the Bible, you know. You know the Bible, just like Alexander the Great, when he showed up in Jerusalem and we showed him that Daniel prophesied about him. Yeah, you know, they are proud. They like that. They like that. But you know what, though? We thank the Lord that he has given us the truth. This is the true word of prophecy. Family, we are in great hands. We are in great hands. Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. Let's give honor and glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Yahweh, our Heavenly Father. And His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai who have blessed us tremendously, family, tremendously. We have this truth. We have this. We have the blueprint. When everybody's losing their mind, what did the Lord says? You will laugh, right? Actually, you know what? I must well bring it out. Family, we're all about the receipt. Let's go to the book of Job. Oh, it's in Job 5. Oh, what am I doing? Job 5. I think it's Job 5.20. Listen to this. This is the this is this is the spirit we're gonna be in. It says, "In famine, he shall redeem thee from death, and in war from the power of the sword." Hey, eh? it says, "Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue." Hey, eh? all these people bad mouthing you. The Lord said, "He will hide you." Neither shall thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. When you see these people losing their mind, eh? civil war, you know, people's home being destroyed. That's what the Lord is saying. It says here, verse, verse 22, At destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. Can you imagine the spirit the Lord is going to put upon you to see destruction happening and you laughing? He said, Neither shall thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth, because we know that all these zoos are going to be opened up. All these animals, oh, because the Lord says what? There are what? Spirits created for vengeance. Including what? Wild beasts. The teeth of wild beasts. These are all the spirit that the Lord is going to unleash on these nations. That's what is coming. But here it says, At destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. Neither shalt thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth. <coughs> and we say, All praises, honor, glory to our power. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bahashem, Rukakudash. That's the spirit that we want to be in when all this chaos are going on. Again, all praises, honor, glory to our power. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bahashem, Kodash. To the hopeful elect, I say Shalom. I hope you are edified. <laughs>